But today I'm particularly excited because we're starting with what a lot of people start with is the life aspect called Je me présente. Mon prénom est Chantal, mon nom de famille est Flannery. Je suis né le 6 juillet, j'habite à Calgary. And we're going to go right into the great eight strategies. Here's what we're going to do. This looks like a typical listening exercise, but what we're going to do, I will turn this worksheet right here, so bada bada bum, bada bada boom, bada bada bing, into this like this conglomerate mess of stuff all over, all right? And we're going to do this together, okay? Which is a great question. It is in the booster pack number two. It's in your booster pack number two. And here's step number one. Let's go right here to booster pack number two. Read the words to Je me présente, the story song. And this is going to be their first form of teacher modeling. So I'll actually take the song and I'll read it to them. Je m'appelle Jean Bernier, je suis né le 4 janvier. Je suis grand, énergique et sophistiqué. Mon numéro de téléphone est 426-520. J'habite 15 rue Saint-Georges à Toronto. J'aime jouer de la guitare, je n'aime pas la gymnastique. Hey, and I continue on, so I read this, okay? You guys are now typing like crazy. That is awesome. Rita shares that she did with her great fortune. So listen to that, people, great fortunes. And they freaked out because of the fact that they knew uh, so many of the uh, Muzani, so the words that they were familiar with, and they just started relaxing the more they listened to it because they just got into it. So the first thing is I read this. The students just listen, and they listen to the stories, and they just, they're just they just listening. It's called teacher modeling. It's, it's the whole idea of being exposed to the French, hearing the French, being immersed in the French, no matter whether you're doing core or immersion. And let me tell you, it is powerful. So that is step one. Number two, pass along activity sheet number one to them and ask the students not to write on the sheet, but to discuss possible answers and discuss how those answers could vary. This is student modeling as they read these phrases and entire paragraphs over and over again as we discuss them as a class. So, you, my colleagues, we're a class now. Je m'appelle Jean Bernier. Je suis né le 4 janvier. Je suis grand énergique et... All right, now type in the chat box right now. Uh, comique. Absolutely. Poetic. All right. Now look at this. One of you grabbed, you made your own word up. Comic. I love it because we accept that thinking outside of the box. And then we had poetic, which now we're using words that are inside the box. That is great. There's no wrong answer here. Sophistique. Love it. Sympathique. Beautiful. Love it. Now what do we do? What do you do if your student for that X said sportive? That's right. So you can say that Jean is masculine. I don't know if you can see my muscle here. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Now, does this mean that we have to stop it, close it, throw it aside, go to the board, and start a grammar lesson on adjectives? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We use this as the teachable moment. And it's very simple, my friends. It's so simple. We're just going, uh, sportive? Ah, oui, il est sportif. Il est sportif. Pas sportive. Janine peut être c'est sportif. Mais pour Jean, parce qu'il est un garçon, là, c'est sportif. And the next time it comes up again, you, you, you just address it again. And the students are just like, oh, okay. This is the thing. They will pick it up because they're, they're in the context right now of talking about attributes of people which they love to talk about all the time. They text about it. Oh, that person's being mean today. Da, 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 da. Okay, so they're, they're talking about attributes all the time with their friends. Now we're doing it in, in French, okay? Absolutely. So being embedded in a lesson, very good, Rita, is it is a mini lesson in and itself. And we didn't have to stop and do grammar. All right, so this is step number two. So step number one is they read it, they never saw the words. Now they're looking at the words, and we're talking about all different types of possibilities. We were just discussing about this tiré number one here, just the first blank. So you can imagine, we can have a very full-on conversation of this as we go through it, encouraging them to understand that there's many possible answers for these many different blanks that are here. To show that there's continuity within the language, how pedagogically sexy is that? Step number three. 
Play the song from the DJ Delph CD. Ask students to write the answers. Now DJ Delph is modeling. Are you understanding how this is scaffolded? What you're doing is you are building from this. You are practicing. They're receiving modeling. They're, they're, they had the teacher speaking first, then the teacher and the students were speaking next. Now they're going to he hear DJ Delp rapping this for the first time. And you're going to encourage them to write them answers from the box. It is almost as if each one of these strategies is its own lesson. So, Aaron, you could actually break this up and just do these things slowly. Or you can do two or th maybe three, if you can get them in, other strategies in one period. All right, so now we're going to play the song. Je m'appelle Jean Bernier. Je suis né le 4 janvier. Je suis grand, énergique et sophistiqué. Mon numéro de téléphone est 4. So there you go. As requested, this is a copy and paste shareable session. So anytime you ask for something, let me know and I will copy and paste. So they're going to actually hear the song. And while they're doing it, I'll show you the exemplar. They're going to use blue. In blue here, I'm circling sophistiqué. Somebody was right. Notice this, this terrible student did not write the accent. So that student has been removed from my program. I'm sure it's the same way in your district. Um, I'm being sarcastic. Okay, but at least I'm showing you a real sheet that was used in the classroom, right? So this is what I believe is the word sophistiqué because it's pretty messy, okay? And it's written in blue. So the same thing happens here. You can actually do this online with another class and grab your pens and put words. So I'm going to have you do this right now. Take your pens, my friends. That rhymes. And I'm going to grab my red pen. I would like you to circle a word and then bring it over and with an arrow to the right block. Look at you people. You are amazing. You are creating art as well. Multiple intelligences. We're doing many things. We're getting kinesthetic. We are getting artistic. We are doing just amazing, wonderful things together. But you can see how everybody weirdly chose different answers. That is so cool. Okay, how in sync are we? All right? We're so in sync. We're the Backstreet Boys. Oh, come on. I, I need an LOL for that one. That was pretty good. Ooh, I got a groan from Melissa. Oh, well, anyways, that's okay. Um, before I go, bye, bye, bye. Um, let me just continue with this. So here we go. We have, this is the idea. So that is strategy number three. So let me erase this beautiful work that you just did. Now all the blue words are there. Boom. And now, number four. Play the lyric video, which hopefully you just saw that, that lyric video that I sent you the, uh, the, the clip to, okay? So you look at that lyric video, and students are allowed to check their answers. So now they are going to, you talk about scaffolding, right? We're building, building, building. Now they're going to uh, check their, verify their answers further, uh, and, but watching the, the uh, video. These songs are not meant to be sung. However, unfortunately, my students do like to sing some of these songs. It is very, very bizarre, okay? So they'll go, je me présente, enchanté, je suis ravi de vous rencontrer. And they'll get into it, right? Well, in this here, um, Laura, there's nothing wrong with singing. There's nothing wrong. Laura asks, well, what's wrong with singing? There's nothing wrong with singing because it's, it's more modeling going on. It's more uh, practicing going on. But I just want you to understand, these songs were designed to try to get your students to sing. They're not supposed to be catchy songs. I wanted you to know that they were just another form of modeling. That's what they were supposed to be, a small part of it, because you're not supposed to get excited about the songs. That's basically what I'm trying to say. You're supposed to get excited about all the authentic tasks, the order forms they use, the um, registration forms type things, the, the maps, the menus, the, 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 all the real life things that they're doing. That's what I want you to get excited about. That's what I want you to see them doing. Uh, so that's what we do, number four. Number five, you're going to see a pencil pen. Circle any, okay, this is where it gets really, really cool. Have students circle any and all statements. For example, j'adore le chocolat. Identify with personally. This is called self-reading and discovery. It's right in your booster pack. It's right here laid out for you. It tells you what to do. Don't worry, okay? And it's a scene in blue circles in the exemplar that I was showing you. So now here, all right, there are some blue circles here. Je suis grand énergique. Je suis loyal. Okay? Je déteste les tests. Do you see these happen even behind some yellow highlighter, which we're going to get to in a second. But that's what these are. Well, guess what? I'm going to do this with you right now. I would like you to grab your pens. Now, what I'd like you to do is do this strategy number five of the great eight strategies, which requests you to 
circle any and all statements that you can personally identify with and go. Go ahead. You all have different colors, so you may just do whatever it is that you wish that you personally identify with. And all you can see right now is two of these characters. I understand that. You need to understand how beautiful it is that you'll see all four of these characters from this song. Trina, this is a reading assessment thing. Absolutely. Diagnostic assessment is happening throughout. You are watching them. They are tracking their whole learning. We talked about that in the beginning. And I showed you the sheets that you use for them to track their own learning. You are witnessing the learning going on right in front of you as they're doing this, right? And you are going around and you're experiencing this. And now you can physically see that they are relating. There's interrelation between what they're reading and themselves as they're circling these things at this stage. We're only at stage five, which is really, really beautiful. Step number six. Then using a different color pen, pencil marker, ask students to circle the name of the character that they identify with most. It's seen in red on the exemplar. So now either circle, in your case, circle Jean Bernier. Where I'd like you to circle Chantal. For which character have you have most of your circles in? Are you more of a Jean Bernier type person? Or are you are more of a Chantal family type person? So we have um, quite a few Chantals. And uh, we've got one for sure, Jean Bernier. I want you to notice how pedagogically sexy this is. And this is how you don't have to have the DJ Dove kit, for goodness sakes. But using the DJ Dove kit, this is the kind of things that you can do. So I encourage you to do it on your own. If you want to make your own wheel, reinvent the wheel, do it. Absolutely. And I would encourage you to do it this way. Look how these people do this. You can take this. If you're teaching grade fours and you're going, this is too complicated for me. It's not. You can actually use this and just have the students study the first line of each song only. What do you notice differently about the first sentence of each character? Somebody type in for me. Absolutely, Kelly. Absolutely, Rita. And Trina. So they are introducing themselves completely different ways, completely different ways. Je m'appelle Jean Bernier, mon prénom est Chantal, mon nom est Dan Chopin, okay? And uh, Jenny Lake has her own, c'est moi, Jenny Lake, she's c'est moi. That's what you do, you, you, you expose the students. Let's be honest, generally, how many ways do your students know how to say, hi, my name is? Be honest, correct. Thank you so much, Kathleen, for being honest. Kathleen is like me, she teaches high school. So she says one. And that one way or two is bonjour, je m'appelle. I teach French immersion. They've been doing French since JK. They come to me in grade nine. I ask them to introduce themselves. And the majority of my students will all say the same thing. Bonjour, je m'appelle. Like it is the only way. How frustrating is that? Well, you don't get mad at them. You realize that before they haven't perhaps been exposed to the action or approach, the idea of doing authentic task-based things where they're being exposed to scaffold the learning step-by-step, -step, moving higher, 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 and having this mega modeling going on where they've been exposed to different ways of doing it. And now there's, and I'm doing activity six right now, and the, the variety of stuff they're giving me right now is blowing my mind. I am in love with the work that they are producing. It is fantastic. So if you teach a younger grade, you can just concentrate on these first few lines, and then that's it. Stop and move on to something else. Then in grade five, since so you did in grade four, grade five, re-pick it up, re-go over this. It's fun. It's, 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 it's everyday life stuff. So it's not boring. It's not like you're doing the, the, um, the unit on ghosts and goblins again. Or they're going, miss, we did ghosts and goblins. We're avoiding that now, which is beautiful because us, we are the resources. We are amazing. Look at you people here on a Tuesday night. That's what I'm talking about. All right, step number six. Then using a different color pen, pencil marker, ask the students to circle the name they identify with most. So most people, you were the second one. Some of you were the uh, first one. That's okay. Uh, what you'll see is there'll be a variety of people. And here's how you're going to find out. Using the four corner strategies that I use every week here on Shop Talk, this one right here, da -da -da, boom, right there, boom, see that? Using the four corners, you are going to label the four corners in your classroom the names of the people. So this will be Chantal's corner, Dan's corner, Jean's corner, and Jenny Lake's corner. Over here, ask students to bring a highlighter with them. Students may share highlighters if they wish. On this in-classroom adventure, so students have to get up out of their seats and go to the corner of the classroom of the character that they most identify with. 
And please note, it'll be very interesting, the dynamics of the people and the students that end up in the corners that they end up in. It is incredible. I've done this multiple times. I just did it recently, about a week and a half ago, and it was exciting again and again and again. From their corners, ask the students then to share within the groups that they're in, all the little Jennies, all the little Jeans, all the little Dans are all together now, right? Have them read the ones they circled in their Jenny section, if they're all Jennies. In each corner, they must share the circle traits with, the, okay, with each other. Then they turn around and they face the other corners. And each corner will now address the rest of the class and share their Jenny-esque type traits. Students are then to take their highlighters and they will highlight only the things that they have in common. What this does is if I'm a Jean Bernier kind of guy and the Jenny Lake people are talking about their Jenny Lake-isms, I will recognize that I have some Jenny Lake in me. And we all have a little Jenny Lake in us, don't we? So now they're recognizing that, yes, I might be Jean Bernier, but I got a little Jenny Lake in me. And I think that is incredible. They will circle. So they go through all these things. And then at the end, you allow the students to have a, the chance to cross the room. So if they've realized after hearing everybody else's presentation that maybe they aren't a Jenny Lake, but they are more of a Jean Bernier, they can cross the floor and they can join the Jean Bernier group, having realized, having discussed, having self-reflected, having metacognitized, thinking about their thinking, doing all these types of sexy learning strategies through research-based practices, my colleagues, that maybe they are more that person than they were that person, okay? But what they will realize is that we are the world, we are the children, that we are all, all have things that we share in common. And it makes people even more comfortable to share, okay? How beautiful is that? All right, so here's a couple questions. Okay, so then you go back to their seats, and then we discuss about the experience. Those are the great eight strategies that you can use, and we've only used activity number one. This is eight amazing things that we've done just with activity sheet number one. Do you understand now why so many people are enjoying uh, using the DigiDelf kit. People in New Zealand, Australia, the Middle East, England, um, all of the United States and in Canada is because this is real life experience, fun stuff that we're doing here. It, it just makes the learning more natural.